viewers this is chef pradeep welcome to my channel everything business and food in this video we are going to see how to make uh, pizza at home using a homemade pizza base as well as sauce using otg oven now i am going to show you what all you need to make a pizza dough uh, for 400 grams of uh, uh, refined flour you take 15 grams of sugar, 8 grams of uh, salt, 25 grams of oil, 6 grams of yeast and water to mix. We are going to use a straight dough method which is uh, quick to make and uh, easy to make at home. Now uh, the first thing we have to do is to bloom the yeast, I mean we have to activate the yeast. To activate the yeast first add a little bit of sugar and mix lukewarm water mix it well and leave it for some time now the yeast is activated what i'm going to do first is mix the sugar salt and then mix the flour can also use commercially available gluten uh, which I don't use this is okay for a home baking then now you have to add the yeast so it's well ferment initially I add 50% of the water required Then start mixing. Always add oil little late so that the flour can absorb maximum amount of water. I usually keep the dough a little bit loose. You can also knead it on a clean surface. I would recommend that rather than reading, uh, kneading in the bowl. I also mix little bit of uh, dry herbs just to make flavorful base just little not too much you can see now the dough is ready once uh, the dough is ready I divide them into uh, uh, small pieces uh, depending on the size of pizza I need and then allow it to ferment allow it to become double in size as you can see now the dough is divided and we are going to allow it to uh, ferment for at least uh, 15 minutes in the meantime I am going to cover it with a cloth and keep it aside as you can see it's been uh, around 15 minutes now you can see it has become double in size and nicely ferment now I am going to take a little bit of oil and apply on this whenever you use uh, OTG oven I recommend you pre-bake the base at least to 50% so that the cooking would be better if you are not comfortable spreading it with hand you can use a rolling pin now I am going to free ferment it and then uh, bake the base or bake the base 50% before putting filling on it and uh, doing a final baking see it's very easy to spread it with hand you can also fold the sides if you like see and give it now once done allow it to proof again for some time When it comes to oven, what you need to uh, remember is you set it in this setting temperature at 250 because it's a compact oven. You need uh, the maximum temperature available in this, and uh, time we can set later when we put the pizza inside. And you have to preheat the oven to this temperature. So I'm pricking it now so that the uneven puffing we controlled. Now it's ready to put in the oven. Now I am going to put it in the oven 
close it keep it for 5 minutes if your oven has uh, you know different kind of setting or something it may differ from uh, uh, another one or two minutes okay i'm going to check now it's done it's been there for i'm releasing it from the tray it's coming off easy see the base is ready now now we can apply sauce put cheese on it and we can bake it now i'm going to show you what all you need to make uh, pizza sauce you have uh, 600 grams of uh, tomatoes blanched and skinned which we will be grinding in the blender 100 grams of onion 35 grams of garlic oil you can use olive oil again and i also use uh, ready made uh, tomato puree which comes in packet the reason uh, being uh, your tomato quality may differ from um, differ every time but uh, when you add this the, con uh, the consistency of uh, the pizza sauce will be maintained every single time so use uh, uh, mixed herbs you can also use uh, fresh herbs like basil leek and celery but i'm using uh, dry one it's more convenient at home and uh, salt to taste so i'm pouring some oil hot adding the garlic saute it Once the raw flavor of uh, garlic is gone mix onion saute it for some time once the onions are sauteed enough I am adding uh, the ground tomatoes and reduce the flame. Cook it on a slow heat till it reduces. Now it's been cooking for last 5 minutes. You cook it till uh, the raw flavor of the tomato goes. Then put the tomato puree in. Dry herbs. and continue cooking now uh, it's, it's reaching its end i am adding some salt i am also adding some sugar just a little it's uh, optional now the sauce is almost ready and i am finishing it with adding little bit more of these herbs This uh, mixed herbs contains um, a dried uh, thyme and uh, dry basil, uh, oregano and chili flakes as well. As you can see and the sauce is ready, smelling fresh. Once you cool this sauce down then you can use it on the pizza. And you can completely cool it and store it in the fridge also for at least uh, 4 days. You can store it in the freezer for a little more longer time. Now we are going to make margarita pizza. First sauce. Add the sauce as much you like. Mozzarella cheese. Okay, now the spices, this has oregano chili flakes. Now it's ready to Before keeping pizza for baking, this is uh, take little bit of olive oil, warm it slightly and mix with uh, oregano and uh, apply it on the side. We have a brush, you can use it. It gives good taste to that uh, colored edge. Now we are going to finish the pizza. Just keeping it. It will take another uh, 5 to 6 minutes. And uh, the temperature of 250. At this setting. I suggest you keep it in the bottom rack. 
because the heat from the top is direct. Now the pizza is done, I am taking it out. Just releasing it from the pan. The pizza is ready. You have to check. See, it's nice. Now enjoy.